Hey guys, what's up? This is Nani from Tech Barrack Solutions, and today in this Android tutorial, we will learn on how we can install any sort of custom ROM on any Android device. So, what do you need for this tutorial? First, you need an Android device itself. Second, you need to root your Android device. Now, the routing procedure for every Android device is different. So, in order to root your device, if you want to know how you can root your device, just Google it up or just search YouTube. You will definitely get some good articles on routing your Android device. Third, you need to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Android device. And remember, this Clockwork Mod Recovery can be installed after rooting your device. Now, what this uh, recovery does is that it allows us to install custom ROMs. Now fourth, you need a custom ROM itself. So from where should you get a custom ROM? It's very simple. Let's have a look on how you can get a custom ROM. Now open up your web browser and go to google.com. On google.com, just search for your custom ROM. Most common ROM is Cyanogen Mod, which is available for almost all sorts of Android devices out there in the market. However, in this Android, uh, for our Android device, we will be making use of Resurrection ROM, which is an ICS ROM. Now, just download the ROM. Once you download the ROM, you will have a zip file, which will be something like this. Now, we need to have this zip file transferred to our Android device. So, let's proceed to that step. Now, get your Android USB cable. Connect the normal or the bigger part of the USB to your personal computer. Now, connect the micro USB part to the Android device. Once you do that, open up your, switch on your Android device. Pull down the notification bar. Click on USB connected. Click on turn on USB. And then click on OK. Once you do that, your USB device is connected to your personal computer. Now we just need to do a few tweaks on our personal computer. Once your Android device is connected to your personal computer, open up the Android device folder. Next, open up the folder where you have downloaded the ROM. So once both the folders are open, just drag and drop the ROM directly into your Android device folder. Now, I will be dragging and dro uh, dropping this ROM into the download folder of my Android device. Now, once the transfer is complete, just disconnect your Android device from your personal computer. Once you have disconnected your Android device from your personal computer, open up your Android device and disconnect turn or click on turn off USB storage once you have done that your Android device has been successfully disconnected from your personal computer once the transfer is complete open up your Android device and switch it off using the power button once the Android device switches off find the power button home button and the volume up button now keep pressing these three buttons until you see the boot up screen we are doing this in order to get into the recovery mode as soon as you see the boot up screen release the three buttons and as soon as the boot up screen goes off you will have the clockwork mode recovery in front of you once you are in the clockwork mode recovery mode you can make use of only the volume up and down buttons to move up and down and you can make use of the power button to actually select any item on the clock in the clockwork mod recovery menu so before installing our custom OS we will take a backup of our current OS so we will move down so we will make use of the volume down key so keep pressing the volume down key till you reach the backup and restore section and then press the power button when you click on the power button you can see it takes us to a new menu 
where it asks us whether we want to backup, restore or do a advanced restore. We want to take a backup. So again click on the power button. Now it will start backing our whole system along with our applications, contacts and every data on our Android phone. So this will take some time. We will be right back once the backup is done. As you can see the backup is complete and again you are taken to the main menu of the clockwork mod recovery and now we need to install the custom ROM. So for installing the custom ROM there are four simple steps. First step is to wipe the data or factory, re factory reset. So just go down to that particular menu and just click on the power button and then select yes delete all user data when you do that it will start formatting the data on your android device and once the data wipe is complete now we need to wipe off the cache partition so that's the second step so just wipe off the cache partition once you Wipe the cache partition, go to advanced. In advanced, wipe the Dalvik cache. Click on yes, wipe Dalvik cache. Then fourth is to wipe the battery stats. Click on yes, wipe battery stats. And once this is done, click on go back. And once you click on go back, then you will have an option install zip from SD card click on that and then click on choose zip from SD card now you need to go to that particular location where you transferred your custom ROM on your Android device so as we transferred it in the downloads folder I will go to that particular folder and you can see I have my zip file that is resurrection re remix ICS version 1.9.1 .1. so just click on the power button and click on yes install resurrection remix ICS version 1.9.1 .1, or any other ROM that you are installing and you need to wait and this might take like a few minutes like a minute or so so once this is done we will be right back okay so the ROM has been successfully installed from the SD card and what we need to do is click on go back and click on reboot system now now we just need to wait and see what happens now when we clear when we click on reboot system now the first boot always takes some time so don't worry if it is taking like three minutes or four minutes on your slow Android device it takes some time to boot for the first time when you are installing a custom ROM for the first time. As you can see the ROM has been successfully installed and now it's giving us the same startup screen which every Android device gives, gives when you use it for the first time. So just go to go through the setup and you are through with the custom ROM installation. I hope you like this tutorial on installing a custom ROM, any custom ROM OS on your any on any Android device. So please rate, comment and subscribe Tech Barrack Solutions.